So, you want to get familiar with the basic brushes. Not a problem. So, the general rule for sculpting is start with the biggest brushes and make your way to the smaller one. The first brush in most projects is going to be the move brush. This lets you grab huge chunks of the model and squish them around to get the basic shape you need fast. And if you hold alt, you'll be able to push things forwards and backwards. Once you're happy with the basic shape, you'll generally use the clay buildup brush to define major features like eyebrow ridges, bone structures, and tendons. You'll probably bounce back and forth between clay, smooth, clay, smooth, until all the major features are built. Then you'll take the standard brush and start making smaller adjustments to the overall shape. Most of the time you'll probably either be using the standard brush or the move brush. When you get to the middle end of your shape, that's when you start to carve the sharper details in with the damn standard. I personally use the damn standard a lot when carving out specific features. For example, in the last project, the ribbed area for the torsos on all the bad guys were carved in using the damn standard. Not only does it cut inside, but if you hold alt, it can also make sharp edges come out. And remember, anytime you need a perfect straight line, if you just turn the lazy mouse on, left click and hold shift, when you release shift, it will draw a perfectly straight line, which is really useful when you're doing hard surface. Speaking of hard surfaces, here are the brushes that I believe helped me the most. Anytime you want something to be perfectly flat, find an area with the ideal flatness you want, and then use the planar brush. This brush will flatten anything higher than the starting point. Or if you hold alt, it will do the opposite, of course, which will raise anything lower than the starting point. Point. It generally works better if you have a bigger brush. And if you want to flatten something super aggressively, use the Trim Adaptive Brush. It's like the Planar Brush, but way stronger. You can tell it gives no f about what's in the way and flattens everything at the same height as the starting point. And last, let's say you want something to be flat, but not perfectly flat. Like there's an edge that you kind of want to bevel out. Well, that's when you would use the Trim Dynamic. It's not as consistent as the Adaptive, but it tries to flatten things while keeping the terrain in mind. The more you scrub, the more it will flatten the surface. There are other brushes like the Pinch, which brings things together, or if you hold Alt, it will split things apart, and the Inflate Brush, which is great for making boobs bigger or smaller. But the ones that I just covered are the brushes that I use the most. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.